So today we're going to use some of the newer functionality in Systems Manager and we're going to create both an administrator user and a normal user of the computer at the time of device enrolment. This is probably the last step that many of you have needed in order to get computers directly to users without having to do any prior setup of the computer and also to remove some of the burden from the end user doing this themselves as well. So we're going to start in Systems Manager and ADE. We're going to create a new ADE profile and call this whatever you wish. We'll go to Next. We're going to skip all of the steps for brevity. We will not have enrollment turned on, although this could be super useful for you if you're using Azure or AD. And you could also use Auto Advanced Setup Assistant as well if you want. We'll click Next. And if you have a provisioning package, this is where you would add it. We're going to create an administrator account admin and give this some password. We'll confirm this password. We can choose whether or not to hide the admin account as well, whether or not we can manage this admin account. I'm going to say yes, because we may wish to change the password in the future. And we're going to not skip the creation of the primary user account. Now, what we're going to do now is pre-fill this using the owner details. You can automatically add a user if you're not going to use an IDP like Azure, and we can lock this user account info as well. Now, what we've done is create that profile and assign it to the device. What we're going to do now as well is just change the owner. So we're going to pre-assign the owner to this particular computer. I've got millions already created. So I'm just going to go and pick one here like this. And we're going to click Save. So that's all of the pre-work actually done. So now let's go over to the computer itself. So we're going to fast forward through some of the normal device setup for brevity's sake. But again, we'll just choose a language. We'll connect this to Wi-Fi. And what you will see next is that the device is going to become enrolled in Systems Manager. So we're going to click Enroll. Now, one of the great things with Ventura is, as you will see, everything that we're going to apply to the computer will actually be shown to the user. Now, this is really good because it shows the user that things are happening. But let's skip forward through this very quickly. So if you look very carefully, you can actually see the profiles being installed, which is super useful for a diagnostic perspective. But again, let's go through this very quickly. Now you can see the Mac is actually pulling down the user configuration that we created earlier in Systems Manager. And the user is now going to be prompted for their password. And you'll see that when we go to the next screen, that all of the user information is already filled in. So all the user has to do is create a password. If you have a password policy, it will already be applied at this point. Now that that's created, we're going to be prompted for location. We skipped this screen earlier, which means that we have to turn location on. But there we go, we're at our desktop already. And if we go to System Settings and find User Accounts, you'll see that our normal user and our admin user is already created. Thank you.